Hey guys, so I am currently at my Walmart here and if some of you forgot, I am actually in Canada. Um, so I've been looking forward um, to seeing some Dine Arrival stuff because all over Instagram and stuff you guys are showing me like all these new T-Rexes and these really cool kind of new Dine Arrival toys. But here in my Walmart, there's absolutely nothing here. This is, this is my Jurassic World section right here. Right here, right here. So here, I'll flip the camera around and I'll just show you what I got. I really got nothing here. What here are just some tiny little sets, some small dinosaurs. Got some Vorovors here, got these little tiny things, some battle damage guys. Um, got lots and lots of these humans um, still left over. Got one Protoceratops. Um, and we got some Stegosauruses, some blind bags, which are a scam. Don't get those. Um, oh, and then we have one T-Rex down here and just some little blind bag sets at the bottom. Oh, right, and then that gyrosphere that I'm pretty sure like no one gets. <laughs> um, but yeah, really like nothing here. I don't know, guys, do, you, do some of you have, you know, such slim pickings like this? I mean, I don't know. I, I was really expecting to see some um, dino rival stuff here, but I don't know if Canada's getting them or not, but I just haven't seen anything. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you have slim pickings like this in your stores, in your Walmarts. Um, I know that we still have Toys R Us, so I'll go check that out next. Um, but let me know if your guys' Walmarts also have very slim pickings of this stuff as well. I finally made it to Toys R Us here in Canada. Like, I'm still in the same country. Um, but finally, I found some Dino Rivals. I actually found two here. I found a Stegosaurus and I found the Stiggy. Um, so I was just trying to like make sense of them. I was wondering what was so different about them, what was so unique. So here, let me turn you around. So I'm pretty sure this is just like a cash grab. So it's exactly the same model as the original Stegosaurus. Just has a different paint job, which obviously I like way, way more than the original one. Um, and it has an extra point of articulation on it. It has the head that articulates. So normally the old one just went like this and just moved the tail. And then the other scale, or plate, whatever you want to call it, if you press it, it doesn't do anything. But on this one, it does the same thing over here. And on the other one, it actually moves, let me do it right here, actually moves the head, which is kind of cool. I kind of wish that this was the original Stegosaurus, but I understand that they wanted to do this whole Dino Rivals line to kind of cash in on another whole line. Um, packaging is kind of cool on it. Um, Kind of almost like it more than the original packaging but it's probably just because i'm so used to seeing this kind of packaging already um and on the back you can see one second on the back you can see it comes with like almost like a pokemon-ish card with like stats and stuff on it um kind of cool it's just like i'm pretty sure it's probably like 35 dollars again just such a kind of a cash grab with all these different kind of repaints and different packaging and whatnot um, so I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to go ahead and get this one. Um, and then I'll show you the Stiggy. So I also found this Stiggy over here as well. It's kind of cute. I kind of like how this one works. It's like a little hunchback and like press it, the head goes all the way in like with the neck. It's kind of cute. Um, so yeah, these are the only two Dino Rebel things that we have here in Canada at the moment. Um, so I don't know where you guys are finding all your Dino Rebels at. Are you finding them at Target? Are you finding them at Walmart? Like what store are you guys finding them in? So I'll give you a little shot here of all the stuff that I have at my Toys R Us. It's basically like my last vlog. Um, they just kind of sorted everything a little nicer. Um, skeleton stuff, plushies, still have those box sets. We have the Tranodon Attack Copter set, have the anatomy kits over there, have a bunch of Rexes still, got the hatchlings, the gyrosphere that I swear no one is buying. Um, but yeah, there's no T-Rex ambush sets or anything. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's about it. That's all the stuff that is at my Toys R Us. Wow, that aisle is really, really busy. So I had to go to the least busy aisle, which is the educational aisle. So nice and quiet here to talk. Um, ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Look at the little octopus. <gasps> ooh, they have like T-Rex here too. <gasps> they actually have a whole bunch of dinosaurs here. Hey, look at that. I never saw that before. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, what is this? Like a Styracosaurus? What is this? Damn, that's actually kind of cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool um, to see the Dino Rival stuff uh, finally kind of coming in here. I mean, all we had was that one Stegosaurus and like three of those Stiggies. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to get it or not. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys getting the Dino Rival stuff? 
I feel like it's just such a cash grab. I feel like it's just repainted, um, repackaged. And it does have that extra point of articulation and the paint job is actually really cool, but I just don't think that I'm gonna spend, excuse me, I don't think I have the heart to spend like $35 on another one of those when I already have like a Stegosaurus already. Um, so yeah guys, so in the comments down below, please let me know how many of the Dino Rodville stuff you guys have. Do you guys have more than me? Do you have less than me? Um, so yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.